right, so we got the Granville 4S SUV tent. Uh, we'll have a link below for Amazon. That's uh, where you can get one of these for yourself. But anyway, so we wanted to try this out on the Bronco with a soft top. Not sure if it'll be able to work with a soft top popped up like that, but we'll find out. Uh, I was told that this was compatible with the new Broncos. Uh, I know it's compatible with 4Runners and Subarus, so we'll see. All right, so this is not a perfect install because I wasn't able to get a campground. So I'm at the, one of the public woods areas here in Chicago, outside of Chicago, in Oak Grove Village. So anyway, but if you imagine the tent being level ground, that's how it would look. So some of that slack at the very top would be out. But uh, overall, not too bad of a process. Once I got it up, now I know how it works. Uh, one of the mistakes I did make was is that I tried to go too far up. Everything should go right around that rear bumper and over. And then we'll get inside. I'll show you here in a minute. There's limitations with the soft top versus the hard top. If you had a hard top, uh, you'd be a lot more flexible with a soft top since the whole back thing raises up. It's not, it won't raise up all the way if you got fastened down. So do know that with a soft top. Hard top, you're probably a lot better off. Uh, it's certainly usable with a soft top. It's just that you're not going to be able to open it wide open, especially if you have a drawer system like I do. So how it looks with the Bronco, as you can see here, uh, it does work. So, you know, definitely figure that. So how you do it is on the back here, this strap has like a little hook. So how I did it is I hooked it to the bottom of the fender flare tightened it up and the back part here that wraps around the bumper now one thing i will say you probably want to be cautious that you know make sure if your muffler is not really hot and then you connect these and pull the slacks out that hugs it up against the truck pretty tight i mean there is a little bit of gap there but it's not going to have to where rain can get in because this thing is snugged all the way back uh there are hooks up here if you had a like a roof rack you could hook to and fortunately since i have a soft top i don't have that but, you know, you can, with this thing being as tight as it is, it's not going to come off here. So just know that. So I definitely think this is definitely usable for most campers. Like I said, this is not the prettiest setup because I'm not on the 
the tent's not on the level ground with the truck. But it still gives you a premise. It's a pretty large tent. I don't have it staked down or else uh, you would be able to see the fullness of it. Uh, right here, pull that out, it'd be staked down better. So I just want to kind of get up and show you all uh, how this works in the new Bronco. So as mentioned on the other side here, you can see same thing on the back. You know, you drape it over the soft top. I'm assuming the hard top would be similar. And you have this one strap with the hook. It goes to the bottom of the fender well. You probably can't see it. And you have this strap, which is that little thing that goes under the bumper back there. Uh, goes under that. Now, all you got to do is unhook those four things, two on this side, two on that side. And hook these two little snaps and then loosen this up and take it off on both sides and just drive off. So very quick to disconnect, you know, in like a rooftop tent, you know, you don't have to leave it. Of course, obviously with a soft top, you're not going to have a rooftop tent, but, uh, you know, this thing's huge on the inside. Now there is a top cover. So this is, I didn't have it on, but you know, prevent rain from getting in and such. It has multiple doors and I just kind of whipped this in here. Like I said, if I have it staked down, it would be way more opened up and flatter in here. Uh, and these walls would be a little farther out. This is from the back. So you can open the door. You know, and it will go out. You probably don't want to go out farther than 90 degrees. Uh, but like I said, this opens up the back of your truck to the tent itself. Uh, and as you can see, the black piece that goes across into the bumper that's two of those straps on the side, so it snugs it up against there. So that way, you know, you don't have any critters trying to climb in the tent with you. But this is a pretty spacious tent. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but uh, you could easily fit a queen size mattress in here. So if you have kids and want to do some camping in your Bronco, and maybe have some pets or something, just want an extra room, this tent would be perfect for you. You know, like I said, with a soft top, you can undo it, but it will only go up so far because of the tent, the way the tent's structured. So this is probably better for a hard top, but like I said, you can use it with a soft top application like mine. Uh, it just won't be up as high. Uh, but if you don't have the drawer thing right here like I do, it might not be as big as an issue because you just crawl out of in it. So anyway, couple takeaways from that uh, just want to let you guys know I mean obviously if you're in here sleeping you probably want to leave the door open all night but you can open it up in and out in there just like you would a Jeep you know this is all inside the tent so anyway like I said like I said not the cleanest install but then again you know you live in a big city you don't always have the options that you do out in the country so but yeah I definitely would think this would be worth a shot uh, for somebody who wants to have to be able to access their Bronco and while they're in the tent you know definitely I think it'd be worth the purchase so anyway please let me know your thoughts and comments like I said I didn't stake it down at the bottom because we're on a public park as uh, so, or it would make it look a little bit neater but ultimately uh, I think this definitely fills a need for certain people may not be the best thing for everybody but I think it definitely fills a certain need. So uh, hope you like and subscribe and more content to come in the, in the future. All right, as mentioned before, I don't think the factory soft top is really ideal for this application. I think the best top soft top probably would, or and definitely the hard top uh, with the factory or aftermarket, I think would be a very good fit for this application. Uh, having said that, that means I'll probably stick with my Gazelle for now, but I do think this is worth a shot. You know, if anybody's in the market for an SUV tent, I think the Bronco is definitely doable. So uh, please look down below for the link in the description. And also please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the future.